Hello, my name is Grant Fritchie. I work for Redgate Software. Welcome back to my series of videos on getting Monitor set up after you've installed it. As we started out, we created a series of groups um, that allow us to manage our servers through uh, classification mechanisms. Now, the next thing we have to decide is security within our systems, and we have to make a choice. Now, let's go down here to authentication settings and take a look at what's going on. We have two different mechanisms that we could follow for how we're going to administer our servers. Now, we could use a shared model wherein we have a series of roles, admin, standard, read-only, and there's going to be a new report user role as well. And we're, we decide on these roles, and all we have to do is set a password for each role, and then anyone in the organization can connect up and off we go. Anyone can come in, as long as they have the right password, they become an administrator, um, a user, or a read-only user. However, a more granular mechanism is to use Active Directory credentials. Now let me just show you what's going to happen when we save this setting either way. On my machine right now, I am set to using SQL Monitor. And so you'll see down below where it says Authentication Settings, I have Manage User Roles. Let's click on that and it opens up and what we see is, is that each of my roles is set up with a particular password. Now right now I have not set up um, any of the passwords for any of the other roles. So the only role, the only access to my system right now is through the administrator role and there's a single password. If I share that password with someone else, they are also administrators. And it keeps going from there. But you can see I've got the standard user role, I've got the report user role, and I've got the read-only. And each of the roles tells you what they can do. Um, for example, the standard user role can come in and, and look at alerts and alert settings, but they cannot create custom metrics, custom alerts, or mess with the alert emails. They can view most of the areas in the page, and they've got the ability to look at other things. A report person can only look at the reports, and then a read-only person can't do anything, but they can look through most of the system. So what we would need to do is we could create, if for example, we wanted to have the reports role be available, we just have to create a password. And so we give it um, some particular password. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do something horrible and call it one, two, three, four, five, six. Um, that would be a bad password under almost any circumstances, but um, it's a quick way just to do a demo. And so we save that password, and now that role is enabled. So we hit save, it, it bounced us back out. If we go back into manage user roles, you can see that now we can change the password. So if I wanted to, I could put in a more stringent password. I don't need to right now. No one can get on my system, so there's no worries there. So that's one mechanism. That's the mechanism of using a single role for permissions. Now there's a more granular way to do it. Let's go over here to monitor.redgate.com and you'll notice down here, instead of manage roles, we have manage users roles and permissions. Now let's click on it. And the reason this one looks different is because it is using Active Directory to manage the roles instead of um, SQL Monitor itself to have as a grouped role. And this is important because what it gives us is the ability to be very granular. We can say, for example, you'll notice here that for this particular login, SQL Monitor Admin at smdemo.local, we have the only administra administrator user, but we have another, a standard user, and then we have a group that is also a standard user, and they have different access rights. The group of standard users can get at only the test servers. And so we're able to get very granular in how we do this. So if we want to add a user or group, we can, you know, then we have to supply, you know, whatever it is. Um, we'll just say grant. Now, we're not going to be able to create this because we don't actually have uh, the ability to, to edit monitor.regate.com. So we're not going to be able to create this. But I could say that I want to create my login as a reports-only user, and I only want to give myself access to our Azure SQL databases. And so now I can look at the reports 
on our Azure SQL database, and I can confirm that. And you can set this up any way you want to. If you want to make it a standard user and then give it access to everything, if you want to make it a read-only user and only give it access to a single um, server um, or a particular group, or any way you want to set it up, you've got a granular mechanism to tightly control who can do what within the system. And so it's a way to completely control who can access the system. And I really like this as an early part of my setup so that I can immediately start, for example, giving management access to the reports. So as we set up our servers, as we create them and get them under um, source, uh, under monitor, we can ensure that they can see the work that we're doing as we do the work. So that's why, if possible, I would go right at this, right out of the gate when I was first setting up my servers and set up a few standard mechanisms of getting the access. Whether or not we do that through this granular Active Directory approach or whether or not we do it through the more broad, here's a password to get access to a role approach, either one, it allows us to begin that configuration of our servers. And of course, over time, we could change and change our mind and go one of the, the other direction and make some modifications if we have to. But this is a good starting point to get going. Next time, we're gonna talk about alerts because alerts is one of the very first things you should start messing with when, whenever you've got everything set up. So, that's it. My name is Grant Fritchie. I work for Redgate Software. Thank you for watching.